now a normal field but during the war an encampment for German POWs. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh hell no! Normandy! Oh, wow, what? Oh no, that's a swastika behind there! In the end of 1944 the Germans launched Operation Unternehmen Macht am Rhein, commonly known as the Ardennes Offensive or the Battle of the Bulls. After this battle was over, the Americans captured about 20,000 German prisoners. On this trip, my friend and I are trying to find out what happened to some of them, securing the evidence left behind by the soldiers, through which we have a special look in their everyday life as a prisoner of war. Join us in our quest to save history. Today me and Emi are going to search for evidence of German prisoners of war guarded by the US infantry and the German prisoners of war were, were taken prisoner during the Battle of the Ardennes campaign. We waited for I think six months until we got the approval from the farmer to search there, the permission and finally today we got it. Unfortunately it's bad weather, <laughs> it's really bad weather. But at least uh, I'm gonna try to find some evidence, show you. I hope we can uh, make some really nice footage. Still have half an hour to go, but that's it. Hope to see you on the field. The first piece of evidence that we found was this tiny signal on the XPDS. When I got it out of the ground, I realized it was a ration bag out of the K ration supplies of the US Army. It was still folded in a bunch, but experience has learned me that they can unfold quite nicely when you put them under hot water. Needless to say I tried this at home and found out it was a coffee ration. Quite peculiar, by the way, because the encampment had German prisoners of war, not US. But as history tells us, the Americans took care of their prisoners in this camp, giving them enough drinks. In the end, this is what the evidence tells us, because we found hundreds of these bags with all kinds of different beverages. Lemon juice syrup, orange juice syrup, different kinds of coffee. Amazing evidence that the POWs at least got to drink properly. Alright. Look at this, Emmy has a pet, and the uh, first find that came out is this Hautengiftungsmittel, German, some glass, broken, broken glass, Roots. wood, but uh, he says he has a nice aluminum or piece there, yeah that looks like a mess tin for sure dude. Ah oh, yeah, that's, ah, that's too muddy. Too muddy, that's okay man, we'll dig it out. That would be the ultimate evidence. The Houten Gifting is already something, but it's broken. And uh, yeah, this mess tin is going to be awesome. It's big. <laughs> oh, this ground sucks so much. But at least you have a live dig. The weather is atrocious today. What a yeah. there, it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, man! Look at this. Look at this. That is a beautiful mastin lid from the Americans. That's not the lid. It's the oh, it's the, the bottom. It's a, it's yes. a, yeah, yeah, it's the plate. That is cool. That is such a beautiful find. And evidence that we're on the right spot. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Again, very odd to find a US Mastin on a German POW camp. But apparently in the upstart of these camps, the Germans and Americans ate together from the same stove, so waste was also going together. Just an amazing piece of evidence and history. After that gorgeous find, my mate called me over once again. He again had a very high aluminum signal. He suspected it is the other part of the mess tin, but as I approach, I can film his digging life and see what comes out. Look at 
Look at this guys, as you can see on the camera. Uh, and me just got this Korkashi out. Yes, it's flattened. But that is a German Mestin from the Second World War. That is amazing. Wow, what a day, man. <laughs> We're just starting. Let, let's get a ping. <laughs> dirty one. Dirty one, yeah. It's really dirty. But that is amazing. What an evidence. That is a beautiful, beautiful find for this. <laughs> yeah, that was the American one. That was the American <laughs> one with a giffle inside, or at least part of the giffle. Wow, beautiful. And finally, we are on to our first real German evidence of the camp. As I've said already, it is indeed a German Mestin or Kochgeschirr in the German language. Don't laugh, you Germans. After cleaning the item with oxalic acid, a nice set of initials and name appeared from under the tarnish. Very, very, very awesome. All right, Mr. Mo uh, Mr. Ami has a, a lot more signals and finds at his uh, dump. So we'll show you in a bit. And I'm uh, obviously, of course, my GoPro died on me again, as always. But then I had a nice signal here. I will change batteries of the GoPro, I hope in a few uh, minutes hours i don't know sure but look at this guys Woohoo! that is another piece of evidence that the germans were here that is a rank insignia it's a pip it was on the collar tab or on the shoulders of a german uh, uniform and it uh, yeah explained the rank of a soldier or an officer or non-commissioned officer but yes, it's in gorgeous condition man I am extremely happy with this find, look at that. Cleans up, it's aluminum, aluminium. That is a beautiful find. Woohoo! So, let's see what Mr. Remy got out of. Wow! What it finds, what it finds. Look at this. A German World War II pencil sharpener. Can you even imagine? Just a pencil sharpener. Ah. The remains of a tube. The remains of a tube. And uh, yeah, remains of rations. Uh, remains of a tube, that's nice. To Houten Giftungsmittel again. And this is part of the German gas mask. There's a date here as well. That's this. Yes, yeah, this. It's part of the Schnauze. Okay. Um, and there's a, there's a nice date on it, for sure. Uh, here you have the spare um, eyeglasses, the eyeglasses themselves, the springs from the gas mask, so they are behind the, um, behind the gas mask to tighten it. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that, rations. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So, oh, ah, nice. another tube. Nice wow, tube. that's a nice one. It's also broken, I think, but it's yeah, a little bit German writing on it. Yeah. Oh, sorry for the focus. Cool, man. Comb. Oh, comb. Oh, wow. Ah, broken. Ah, broken part. But this is proper evidence of the German camp here. Look at that. All this stuff. It's very, very interesting. And uh, yeah, we will definitely find some more, I guess. I will show you later on. All right, I was about to uh, wait until he got some more. Oh, there you go. Out in Giftings Middle. But he also found this first one, the flask of the Out in Giftings Middle. So this was also part of the gas mask. Uh, but this is the first on this channel, so that's why I wanted to show you. Oh, nice. That is very cool. Even that the string is still attached. Oh, look at that. Look at this one. Ah, cool. Wow. Nice bottle. <laughs> Damn, that's a nice dump. But look at this, guys. String still attached. That is a beautiful find. Wow. Right, guys. Look at this. I also got a find. <laughs> And uh, it looks like it's a Kochgeschirr lid. Yeah, it should nice. be. Oh, wow. Oh, nice, Look nice. at that paint. It's beautiful. Still green paint. 
Wow. Damn, it's cooked. So I have to clean it at home, but that's a very, very nice find. Very happy with that one. What a day. Woohoo! Hi right, guys, think I have another cockashear here. Look at this. I think it's going to come out. Yes, it's going. Look at that, that's another flattened one. Oh, it's pretty ah. nice shape. Look at that. Woohoo! Nice. Damn, that's good. That's really good. Oh, it's full of muck. Uh, careful, you're yeah, breaking it. I'm breaking it. Let's see if there's something in there. Only rations. Yeah? That's great, man. Look at that. Nice. Paint. Ah, this side is rotten. Cool. What a find, man. I'm happy. Oh, well, I'm closing down my pit over there. Mr. Remy had a very nice signal behind me. And look at that, guys. Another one. It was faster out that I could even fill my hole. Wow, and it's a beautiful paint. Mm -hmm. That's going to be very nice. It's again flattened, so every every coffee here is almost flat, man. Mine, is, not. mine, <laughs> mine is probably the best shape to, until now. But that is a gorgeous paint, man. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, oh. What? Oh. <laughs> and he loves the color of every S. Rust, rust fry steel. Rust free steel. Uh, yeah, we don't get a break. It's ridiculous, man. It's raining, it's cold. And then you pull. Keep on going. You pull cold because he's out. <laughs> oh, this condition is a little bit worse. Sorry, I have to film like this. US mass tin lid. Ah, US mass tin lid. And I got this German Kochkeschir. Wow, that's so cool. Wow, we. What a day, man. We found. I'm gonna pull it out if you want to see. Yeah, it. yeah. Let's do this together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, wow. No way, man. <laughs> no freaking way. Look at that. No freaking way. <laughs> that is gorgeous. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous find. Woohoo! Man, we're lucky today. <laughs> we are so lucky today. Oh man, let's get it. Let's put it here. Together. Wow. What a picture. What a piece of history. What a evidence. That is sick. So, Mr. Remy, we're not getting a break. He thinks he has a mess tin lid again. Eyepiece from the oh, eyepiece from the gas mask, yeah. It's very uh, annoying to uh, get my gloves off every time. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's good. That's okay. A piece of shoe. A ah, piece of shoe. You see? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh man, that's beautiful. Oh, there it goes. Oh, sorry. Oh, another one. Jeez, man. That is that beautiful. There's another uh, there's bottom another... part as well. <laughs> wow. These conditions are amazing. Oh, this piece, wow. It's also very interesting. Yeah. Wow, man. Congratulations again! Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> ah, look at that, look at that. Oh, how to give to Wow. This place is jam packed. Uh, I think I have a condom right here. <laughs> As we call it a Lillimitz. A Lillimitz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Condom from the Germans. 
Or the US. Or the US, yeah, what a camp life. Cool. <laughs> From that point on we were absolutely knackered. I was covered in mud as you could see, but we still went on for a bit. A few more awesome finds came out. Oh yeah guys, another great piece of evidence. Different from what we had before. In the meantime I got another Carcassier. Uh, and we got a lid of a Italian Carcassier. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a few seconds. But look at this, my first one, and it's flattened like a pancake, but that is a German field bottle, and I've never found a regular German field bottle before. So, yeah, that's absolutely amazing. It's in terrible condition, <laughs> and it's flattened like a pancake, but that is amazing. I am in love. Wow, that is a gorgeous find, a test. To the Germans that were here, can you imagine they threw this all away when they probably got sent back home or sent back to another camp and they flattened it or shoved it in the earth. I have no idea, it looks really strange. It looks almost made like this, so I don't know. I will clean it at home and show ya. Pancake field bottle in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> And he's busy over there, and I just got another first. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes I hit, whoops, I can be just so happy. Finding history, saving it from the ground. Every year it gets worse. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very privileged that we could help save some history. And uh, yeah, this is a German canteen cap. I never found that one as well. So I'm really, really excited and happy about that one. What a beauty, the backside. You can still see one of the, uh, oh no, two, oh, there was both of them. Ah, cool. So that's how they were, uh, could uh, grip it, hold it steady. So that's a very amazing find. I'm really, really happy about that one. Woohoo! Uh, just had a beautiful day, deep signal. We're at the end of our, uh, of our energy, but uh, yeah. Look at this. And what do you know? Another German field bottle. Woohoo! My first and my second in one day. So amazing. Wow. A few belt hooks here. So I was hoping the. Uh, Belt, belt buckle would be there as well, but it, it wasn't. But uh, it doesn't matter, man. It's cool. Mr. Remy just found something personal as well. Look at that, guys. German World War II lighter. Have a look at that. That is a beauty. It's made from aluminum and it's in terrible shape, or at least this side is good. The other side is a little <laughs> bit more terrible. It doesn't matter. That's, that's the state of the relics, and that, well, that's what shows you, the viewer, that we need to hurry up. <laughs> Get everything out before it's demolished in the ground. Wow, so cool, man. Right, guys, me and me, we are done. <laughs> It was a very heavy day, but man, look at this. And we found another Carcassier, a very nice one with the lid in one piece. Uh, like gas mask parts, the Houtengiftungsmittel. So he found three Carcassier, three Mestins or parts of Mestins in the US. Carcassier lid. And I found three Carcassier. One lit and three, <laughs> I found another one, three German field bottles. Four and a, field bottles. Four field bottles, <laughs> a glass bottle, yeah. And the canteen cup. And my pip, from which I'm really happy about. 
So no erkennungsmarkers, no medals, no other pins, but we had a very, 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 very good day. We also found uh, pieces of the uh, Houtengiftungsmittel and that kind of stuff. So yeah, it was a good day. I will show you at home what I got. Hope you enjoy. This first day on our spot we focused primarily on big items, deep signals. We had an incredible time and even more so incredible relics. The next day, which obviously followed soon, we focused on smaller targets. And my lord did we succeed. Alright, back at the field today, I'm together with Emmy again. And it's very very cold, you can still see the ice everywhere. But I got a signal, I haven't viewed it yet, so it could be trash, but I see a loop over there, I think, I thought, I see this coinish thing, wow, ah, the loop is broken, okay, cool, but what is it, because that surely looks like a metal to me, and that would be perfect, ah, I will clean it, Hopefully, and show you what this is because I am really, really triggered right now. I'm really happy, but I don't know yet what it is. This looks like a metal for sure. So let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, it's amazing. I found these before, different types, but uh, also in German prison of war camps. And what they did, the Germans, was that they took souvenirs from their time in Paris. Look at that. That is the Eiffel Tower, I'll try to stay out of the uh, sunlight. And this is the Arc de Triomphe, in which they marched uh, in, I think, uh, in 1940. They marched under the Arc de Triomphe and they occupied France, or at least the biggest part of France. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous find to start of today. I'm very, very happy. Woohoo! Oh guys, I mean, he called me over, I was far away and he found something we don't found, find every day here or at least I don't think we ever found it here a piece of Erkennungsmarke from aluminum but that's not the main attraction <laughs> he was waving like crazy, I was like oh, let me search a bit but no, he was right, he was right, look at this guys look at that big, that's huge man, that's huge Oh, take it out, my friend. That looks like a silver. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. What is that? That is ridiculously big. Whoa. What's on the back side? No way, dude. That is ridiculous, oh. man. For Troje Dienste. Oh, this is no, Yeah, yeah, it's a metal. it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've never seen this before. What I the thought hell? it was a huge coin. <laughs> Bergwerks Action. So it's from uh, digging trenches and, and uh, uh, bunkers. Oh, can I take it? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh my god, it's heavy silver, man. <laughs> what? No way. Gesellschaft, what? Für treue Dienste, man. Wow, Sels Gelsenkirchen. Ah, so it's from Gel Gelsenkirchen. That is the biggest metal I've ever seen, and it's, it's silver. Oh my god. MC, uh, Anno MCMX8. Uh, so it should be 13. I'm really bad at Roman numbers, but I will show you. That yeah. is the biggest thing I've ever seen, dude. Bye bye, I'm going home. <laughs> He's going home. He's... <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is absolute madness. What a chunk of silver. And it's a medal for the Germans. Abnormal. Ab freaking normal. Well, I was a small bit off. It is actually a medal for the mining in the area of Gelsenkirchen, a small city in Germany. It says für treue Dienste, for loyal service, 
to the Bergwerks Aktiengesellschaft in 1913. In English, for mining. So this was given to a soldier who was mining for what must have been a longer time the mines in or around Gelsenkirchen. So this guy must have been a miner before he was sent to the front in 1914. The place we search also has a history in World War I. It is such an amazing find and I am still awestruck every time I see it. My mate obviously teases me with it a lot as you can imagine. What a find! Yes guys, I also got something cool as you can see. That's in my... That is a pin from the Germans for sure. Oh wow, what? Oh no, that's a swastika behind yes. there. That's a swastika behind there. No way. No way. What? No Amazing. way. Wow, no way. What a find. Today is ridiculous. Look at this, guys. <laughs> I've never seen this one before. What? That is so wow. cool. That is so amazing. <laughs> what a day, man. What a day. Yo, it doesn't need a mug. What is wrong? Sorry for that last bit of Dutch, but I had to keep it in. And when I researched this object, it only became better. It is actually a Reichsarbeitsdienst. Oh, yeah, my favorite subject in German history. Cabbage from the so called Arbeitsgau 1 in Ostpreußen. Every big Gau had its own cabbage next to the regular Reichsarbeitsdienst cabbage. So it's quite rare and extremely awesome to find here. I am very, very happy. I haven't seen it yet, but it could be something cool. And uh, yeah, it might be a pip. Yeah, it's a pip. It's a beautiful big pip. Yes, wow, that's a beauty. That's a bigger one than I had last time. Wow. That is cool. It's a bit bent, but that's a pip for sure. Wowee. Look at that. Oh man, today is good. Today I am very, very happy. Look at this beautiful pip rank insignia. Wow, that's a beauty. Not normal today. It's absolutely crazy. Woohoo! Mr. Me called me over for a very nice and personal find. Look at that. That is a pocket knife with the initials JC. That is a beautiful, beautiful pocket knife from that era. So yeah, German soldier, Johannes Cornelis. I have no idea, but that is a beautiful find. <laughs> Don't laugh, dude. All right, guys, I just had this pin. And I think it's a pin. I haven't brushed it off, but it looks like a pin. Ooh. Norway. Norway, ah, oh, cool. that would be awesome. There were soldiers here from all over the, the world, actually. Yeah, I could found Italian, Polish, and uh, yeah, Norwegian, probably. Wow, that is a beauty. Look at the two lions and the shield. So it could be Norway, but I have to clean it. So. I think the, oh no. Is they my, uh, my, uh, yeah, I, I think it might be damaged, but let's see. You can. Uh, copper. Yeah, nor. No. No. Normandy! Normandy! Oh. Wow, that is even better! <laughs> wow, Normandy! Damn, that's sick! That's so sick! Wow! What a find again! Normandy! Woohoo! As you guys know, the Allies landed in June 1944 in Normandy. After heavy fighting, the Germans went on a run back to their motherland. With that knowledge in mind and the following Battle of the Bulge, from which these guys here were taken prisoner, it is only a small step to wonder about the history of this pin. 
Did the Germans stationed in Normandy during the pre-D-Day landings took this as a souvenir? We would probably never know, but it's not hard to imagine this guy driven back to Germany, then attacking once again in the Ardennes offensive, getting captured and ultimately lost his pin here, or threw it away as the war was over for this guy. That is the best part about metal detecting, fantasizing on facts. What could have brought that small piece of incredible history here? Amazing! Well, the craziest thing happened. Uh, I had a signal here, it was a racing back, but I saw something white poking out and I think I found the Fuhrer. Look at this! That is crazy, man! That looks like the Fuhrer, but here on the cap you can still see the Eagle even. So great detail. But that is crazy, man. It's from plastic, so it should be Winter Hills where I could something like that. That is amazing. Wow, what a find. Well, Adolf wasn't the only thing in the hole. So I think the uh, ration bag was uh, not the right signal. I dug a little bit deeper for the buddy, trying to find the buddy and then I found this one. Look at that. What the hell, it's full of text and it says something like NSDAP, so that should be true here at my thumb, you can see it. And it says Bewegung, has a big ass swastika and on the back side it's full of text as well. So I'm going to research that at home, show you. That's amazing man, that's crazy, I didn't even put my pinpointer in, I just pulled it out. Wow. What a day. This one is a bit tricky. I first had to clean it before I could research it. It says NSDAP Hitler Bewegung Ein Schilling Spende. On the back it says Der Freiheit entgegen helft den freigelassenen Kameraden. Now in English I think it is a donation coin for the NSDAP. If you bought this the money went, supposedly at least, to the, and this is my guess, political prisoners that were released. It is quite a rare piece and the exact date or meaning of it is not easily found. That it was to aid the freed comrades of the NSDAP is clear, but if it is only financial aid to the NSDAP or really went to the freed prisoners, I can't find. Nonetheless, again an extremely awesome find and I'm really, really so freaking happy and lucky. Yes, Mr. Army called me over for something cool. As you can see it in the hole, that looks like half of an Erkennungsmarke. Yes, man. Wow. That's great. That is definitely half of an Erkennungsmarke. And here's the other half. Oh. I, th I thought, I saw, <laughs> nice. thought I saw it already. It's a complete one. <laughs> it's a complete Erkennungsmarke. Wow. Let's see what it's from. Don't tell me it's Reichsarbeit themes. <laughs> we have found loads of that this year. Look at that. That's a zinc one, so it's pretty difficult. But yeah, maybe at home I can show you. Wow, that's a beauty, man. Congratulations. Hard to tell, all right. I will show you at home. This Erkennungsmarke, the German equivalent of a dog tag, was from someone in the Flieger Ersatz Battalion or Aviator Replacement Battalion. A replacement battalion was where you were trained and got ready to move to the real deal. Often battalions in the field asked for replacements as they lost their man. Soldiers from the Ersatz Battalion would then be sent. This guy was an aviator, so that is even more interesting. The Luftwaffe was losing man fast. Nice to know that this guy at least survived. Oh hell no! Mr. Emmy, he just can't take it. He just did it. Shame it's from iron, but this, my friends, is an Abzeichen. We think it's DRL, but it could be a lot of things. So he will clean it carefully. Yeah, it's a DRL. DRL, yeah? It's for the match. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, but that's an amazing find, dude. 
Oh man. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a beauty. Woohoo! What a find. The iron clump you've seen just now was indeed a DRL sport badge from the Germans. DRL stands for Deutsche Reichsbund für Leibesübungen. The medal was awarded to those who could show proficiency in sports. The funny thing is, my mate is extremely good in cleaning and so came to a gorgeous result. I hope you like it because I very well do. Alright guys, yeah. I flipped it already and I flipped it back. It's the way it was. I want to show you how it's done. Wow, look at that guys. Nice. Oh my lord. And it's in one piece. Oh, <laughs> look at that guys. That's a cabbage. Wow, mit zijn Abzeichen. I think the Wehrmacht could be. Probably. Probably. Look at that, all in one piece. I found a wing here, or I think I found a piece of it here before. That is just freaking fantastic! What a find. What an evidence. Woohoo! Yeah, we call it quits for today, for this uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed. We uh, try to uh, tell you as much uh, about history as we can. And uh, yeah, let's do a wrap up of today. <laughs> oh, this is just abnormal. Ridiculous. That <laughs> is a bucket full of vines. Wow, no way. So we got rations, etc. But uh, at least we got a few uniform buttons. Nongadi is also there. We got a strappy thingy, pippy thingy. And there we have the beautiful cap badge. The Normandy pin, which I probably told you what it was. And this one with the swastika, that's probably Reichsarbeitsdienst from Ostpreußen. Wow, that would be amazing, but I have to research it at home. The NSDAP badge, the beautiful Paris badge, a few coins, the pocket knife with the initials, the Erkennungsmarke, which I have also showed you, a very nice German tube, I forgot for what it was, but that is cool, the DRL sport badge, <laughs> and the best find of today, this a humongous banger of a silver medal from 1913 wow what a day what a field what an evidence Woo -hoo! as you might have noticed this is the last part of this video it is a new format longer and hopefully more interesting it was for me at least if you have any questions about this video and its content except for where we find the stuff please feel free to leave a comment if you want to see more of these videos in the future, be sure to subscribe. If you want to make contact, please email me at majorconix at gmail.com. The last thing I am going to say is, we proudly managed to save some history yet again. Thanks so much for watching and bye bye.